Good morning. It's our moment of meditation with the doc for Thursday. Today I'm going to talk to you about Psalms, the 90th division, 1 through 6 verse. First, there was the sundials, then the water clocks, then hourglasses, mechanical clocks, digital clocks, and now we even have our smart watches. We're so involved with time. That's why it's good to read Psalms 90. Listen to what the psalmist has to say. Lord, thou has been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were forth, or even thy hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Isn't it good just to contemplate God's eternity in the light of our frailty? We're creatures of time, and yet God is eternal. God is our dwelling place. And he can be our dwelling place from generation to generation. Yes, the eternity that we face is an eternity that is in God's hand. We're not, you see, we not only have God, but in God is eternal being. But we have God's grace. He is our dwelling place, not our prison. He's our dwelling place, our home. He makes our home in the eternal. The psalmist tells us that God is eternal and God is gracious and God is faithful. From generation to generation, he is faithful. From everlasting to everlasting, he is God. God has been faithful from generation to generation and he will continue to be faithful. You see, he's the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He's the God of individuals. He's the God of different personalities. He's the God that we can trust. That's why it's good for us to be able to say, Thou art God. Thou art God. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place. Lord, thou art God. Let him be God in your life today. You see, when you abide in him and do what you do for his glory, you are partaking of the eternal. The word of God says, he who does the will of God abides forever. And you can find that in 1 John 2 and 17. Yes, we may be frail, but God is eternal. And he is our God from generation to generation. I thank you for listening in on our moment of meditation for today. And this Sunday is a national Sunday of come back to the church. And I'm inviting you out to our service on Sunday. It's come back to the church this Sunday. And our church for the year, we have a theme this year. 
come home, God still loves you. And it falls right in line with this Sunday's National Church Day. And if you have not been attending church, it's time to come back to the church. But more so, it's time to come back because God still loves you. He has not thrown you away. He's just waiting for you to return. And I'm inviting you, each of you, to come out to Greater Maranatha, Church of God in Christ. We're located at 2209 South Park Lane here in the city of Stockton. Our pastor is the Dr. Terrence L. Saffold. He's an anointed teacher and preacher of the word of God. And he has a heart for the people. He would love to have you to come out to service on Sunday. We, the members, would love to have you to come out to our service. Sunday school starts Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Sunday morning service starts at 10.30 a.m. And Wednesday night, we have one hour of Bible study from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We would love to have you to come out to our service. And in our closing, as I normally say, I ask you to intentionally do something to make someone else's day better. Because that's a gift that God has given to each of us. It's a gift that we can make someone else's day better. We can shine a light on someone else's life to help it be better. And if you make someone else's day better, and I make someone else's day better, then we're making this a better world to live in. God bless you. Have a great day. This is the doc signing off with our moment of meditation for today. Be blessed.